What's goody? Welcome back to the Winner's Circle, y'all. So today's video, I'm going to talk about your kingdom spouse, okay? And how come some people are not attracting their kingdom spouse, okay? But before we get into it, you already know, do what you got to do. Join the Winner's Circle if you've been rocking with me. I love y'all so much. We locked in, okay? But let's, let's hop right into this video. Um, God has a kingdom spouse for everybody, okay? Everybody. There's not one person here that's meant to be to grow old and, and die by themselves. That's not a thing. This is why it takes two to make a baby. This is why it, it takes two to have companionship. That This is why there's two different genders, male and female. Everybody has a kingdom spouse. So God was telling me to tell y'all, like a lot of people are just so hardened at the heart. You, you are literally energetically blocked off from receiving love. A lot of you guys are not even energetically open. Your heart is not open to receive love. There is a saying that says you get your heart broken so many times so it can break and break open. And I find that to be true. Like, like, like that's a real thing. You already know I'm a life coach. Book a session with me. If you are having trouble finding your kingdom spouse, your partner, anybody to start pursuing, let me know because I'm going to help you out with that. With that, Okay. Um, oh, and I'm, I'm going to show you how to attract good partners for sure. Uh, male or female don't matter. Book a session with me. But um, the pro God said the problem with a lot of people is you 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 know what I'm saying you you you're in relationships at a young age you might have gotten married at a young age I'm talking fresh out of high school 22 23 24 um in your 20s you know or you was with your baby mama your baby daddy for a long time and because those foundations were built off of childhood and immaturity the foundations crack. People do dumb stuff. They start cheating. People start people people um, are not emotionally emotionally stable. So they putting hands on each other. They they losing it. They wilding out. They keying cars. They um, uh, throwing people's clothes over the balcony. Anything you can name it. This is what people are doing. It's because your foundation is based off of immaturity and childhood, and, and rightfully so because you guys already know when you're 21, you ain't really grown like that. You don't, you don't really know nothing at 21. When you're 21, you think you're grown. When you're 22, you think you're grown. But then you get to your 30s and you look back like, I didn't know a damn thing. Let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. When you was young, you thought you was grown. And you were, you wasn't. You're still a child at 20 years old. That don't make you grown. You even... I think, I think that it's still normal for 20-year-olds to even still live with their parents. I didn't at that age, but... But I feel like it's common, like people still need support. People are not stable. People are, are just now going to college. And how, how can they focus on college and focus on their bills if they got to worry about being, you know, being a full adult and fully submerged into this world? Relationships and foundations was built off of childhood and immaturity. You were not your, your grown self. Even if you got married to somebody... Y'all lasted like 10 years. Let's say you got married at 20. It lasted 30 years years old. Yes, you guys have grown up. You guys um, have matured. You guys have um, gotten more wisdom or whatever. But the foundation of your history of how they know you, what they know your patterns to be, is the old you. It is not who you are anymore. So things tend to shatter and that's okay. Um, but, be, but because th these things shatter, you know, we get so upset. We get bitter. I ain't, I ain't never marrying nobody again. Been there done that i ain't gonna be in a relationship with nobody oh i'm just finna use these dude because be dudes because they did this to me oh i'm finna just trick on these girls i'm finna just um treat these girls like hoes because in the past da -da 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 -da. and so what it does is it, it puts us in a, a place where we have a hardened heart and you are not open to receive love and what god is saying is listen those people before your your ex-husband your ex-wife your old relationships that prepares you for your kingdom spouse it's not there to make you um, have a hardened heart and to think that love don't exist in this world. Love is the highest vibration you could emit. Okay, God is love and God is everything. So how can love not exist in this world? What, what we need is people to heal themselves, let go of that bitterness and start to do the personal growth and development work within themselves. So then we can start to attract healthy partners. That's the, that's the key here. The problem is not love does not exist anymore. Love does exist. Everyone has a hardened heart. You guys need to open up your heart and understand that everything that you've been through, relationship-wise, situationship-wise, baby daddies, baby mamas, marriages, all that prepares you for your kingdom spouse. Just like how I said in another video, you know, you go through trials and tribulations and um, everything that you go through, uh, struggles, hardships, um, falling out with family members and friends, all of that equips you and gives you thicker skin for your next level, for your new chapter. It's the same thing with relationships. Everybody that you encounter prepares you for your kingdom spouse. And you will know if you met your kingdom spouse or not. Um, 
a, a kingdom spouse is like a reflection of you. You can look at them and you see yourself in them. Oh, let's, oh, thank you, God. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. When, when you, when, when God is showing you a king, a, 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 a potential kingdom spouse, and whether you be with them or not, you know, that's up to you. Everybody got free will. But when God shows you a potential kingdom spouse, they're going to be a reflection of you. They're going to mirror you. They're going to mirror your um, your same philosophies in life. They're going to have the same belief system as you. They're going to have the same, um, probably the same kind of habits, eating habits, um, same kind of interest as you. Um, they're, and the, the dark part about it is um, they're going to trigger growth in you. And it might not, it might not be so comfortable. They're gonna trigger you to where you have to purge toxic behaviors out of you because you feel like, okay, I want to be better for this person, whether you're with them or not, whether you're gonna be in a relationship with, with them or not, because you see how they are and they see how you are. You want to impress them. You want to become better. You want to um to rise up. You want to level up in their presence and you want to show them, look who I am. Look who I've developed into. Look who I've become. That's the kingdom partner. That is a kingdom spouse right there. If you if if you have come across someone and they are uh, mirroring you and they're triggering growth inside of you, they're realizing um, that okay, I got some toxic behaviors I might need to get rid of. Um, they're 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 when I say mirror, I don't just mirror but mirror as in behavior. I mean they're a mirror to you, showing you your bullshit. They're, they're making you look at your own reflection in the mirror and say, oh, I was kind of toxic. I shouldn't have did that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I shouldn't have behaved this way. Oh, I shouldn't have treated him this way. Oh, I shouldn't have treated her that way. They're, they're, um, they're making you purge certain energies about you so that you could become a better person and step into your kingdom and step into your queendom. That's what a kingdom spouse does. A kingdom spouse triggers you into growth. They trigger you They trigger you into elevation. Um, they are real one. That's the definition of a real one. Your kingdom spouse is definitely going to be a real one for you. They're going to hold you down. Down. They're gonna be your biggest cheerleader. They're gonna um, they're gonna make sure you guys grow together. They're gonna support you. They're gonna accept you, uh, flaws and all. They're gonna, you're gonna be perfect to them. They're going you're going to feel perfect to them. That's the that's the true definition of a kingdom spouse. They you you're going to feel safe with them. You're gonna feel it's gonna be like a home feeling. You're gonna feel like you're home. And again, whether whether you with them or not, if you find somebody is triggering you into growth, triggering you into um, it's almost like another spiritual awakening. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, they trigger you into another spiritual awakening to where you have to elevate because you are, they, they, they make you see toxicity in you and they want you and they support you the whole time. They want you to grow and vice versa. You want them to grow and you guys are growing together in love. OK, so there is a kingdom spouse out there for everybody, y'all. Everybody, not one person doesn't have a kingdom spouse, but it's a, just like that video I made about doors not opening for you until you become the version of yourself that's meant to walk through those doors. You will not, if you, if you still got so much toxic energies in you and you're not, um, when you meet your kingdom spouse, you're not going to be perfect. They're going to trigger a lot of growth in you. They're going to trigger a lot of realizations in you. But when you come across a kingdom spouse, you're already on the brink of personal growth and development. You already headed in that direction. No, you're not a perfect person, but you're already on the up and up and you have the desire to do better. You have the desire to become better. You have the eagerness, the urgency inside of you to be better. And so because you're on that vibration of becoming better and you're on that journey of personal growth and development, you're going to attract the same person who was on that journey of personal growth and development. And you guys are going to trigger each other into becoming better versions of each other. Okay. Everybody has a kingdom spouse. You guys, you have to get out of the mindset of all niggas ain't shit. All bitches ain't this. Um, I'm tired of these hoes. I'm da, da, da. The moment you have a fixed mindset of all dudes ain't nothing, you will attract every man who ain't nothing because you... You see what you look for. Either you're looking for the dirt or you're not. If you have a fixed mindset of all women ain't shit, all women are gold diggers, all women are users, you're going to attract every single last one of those women because you're only going to see what you look for. You only have eyes that of which you are looking for. If you are, if you know, okay, if, 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 if women come from God, all women definitely can't be gold diggers. All women definitely can't be users and, and manipulators and liars. And if you have that mindset, okay, let me just open up my heart and say, God, bring me the right spouse. And I know you are with unwavering faith. Guess what? That's exactly what you're going to find. God, God is going to bring you that partner that you're asking for. Listen, and in my case, God be bringing me more than one partner. I'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, God, I asked you for a husband. I, I thought it was going to be one person that showed up. That's going to be my husband. I didn't know that there was going to be several candidates that qualify. I, I had no idea. But when you have unwavering faith and you want that love vibration, 
you're going to find what you're looking for. You're going to find what you're looking for. Because once upon a time, I too had that mindset and I had to work very hard, very hard. Believe, listen to me when I tell y'all, I had to work very, very hard to get out of that mindset of all niggas ain't shit. That was my younger, mature, toxic self because I was in these, you know, toxic, not not toxic, but just in childish relationships. And, and it, looking back, it, it wasn't terrible. It was appropriate for our age. We were just young and dumb, you know, he treated me well overall and I treated him well overall, but we were just young. We were immature. We were children. And because I was, I didn't have that growth mentality of, I was hurt and pissed off. All oh, niggas ain't shit. They get on my nerves. Da, 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 da. But I had to come out of that. Like, no, stop that. Stop that. And today you will never catch me saying all men ain't this or all women ain't that. You will never, you will never catch me categorizing all of anybody together. Everyone is an individual. Everyone is an individual. And every there's le there's everyone is on a different level, a different walk of life, has different upbringings that that um, aid in how they how they are in relationships and how they maneuver in life and how their reasoning and how they think. Everyone is an individual and everyone is different. There's no way that all men are the same. There's no way that all women are the same. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. You might have a certain pattern that you're attracting because ultimately that that toxicity that you're attracting is in you. Men, men and women who are healed are not in relationships with people who are toxic. It doesn't, it, 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 it's not the, it, it won't be able to thrive in the same environment. That's like taking a, a peach completely whole and clean and ripe. And then you put it in a bowl with other peaches that got mold, toxicity on it. And you put it in there. The, the peach that's whole will not be able to thrive in that kind of environment, will it? No, it won't be able to thrive. It can only thrive in other environments that are healthy with it. So get out of those toxic mindsets. That love don't exist. I give up on this. Because you literally close yourself off energetically to receive love. You have to be in a position to receive. That's one of the mantras that I say. That's one of my affirmations. I, I, I am in a position to receive love. It is easy for me to receive love. It's easy for me to receive wealth. It's easy for me to receive abundance. You have to open yourself up to receive. And a lot of people don't think that that's a thing that, that okay, you could just say like, no, I'm not closed off to love. Yeah, you are. What do you believe about love? Ask yourself, this is how you check your temperature. What do you believe about love? What have you been saying about relationships to yourself? or to people around you? What, what kind of people do you see around you? What do you genuinely believe about marriage? What do you genu genuinely believe about family dynamics? And a lot of this can trigger us from childhood trauma. Um, you know, you maybe you only grew up with a, a single mom or maybe you grew up with a single dad, or maybe you grew up with a, a drug parent or um, toxic, toxic parents always fighting and putting their hands on each other and so maybe that's all you know to be to be love you know all of that plays a huge role so you've got to heal yourself and open up energetically and say i deserve to receive love and i'm ready to receive love and people will love you they will people will love you people there's people out here who love you i love you people will genuinely genuinely love you but you've got to open your heart up you cannot be closed off you cannot attract the very thing that you're saying does not exist you can only resonate with something that exists in your belief system. If you do not, if you don't believe in love, how are you going to find love if you don't believe in it? Because every time love comes around you, you won't be able to see it. <laughs> you can, ladies, you, you, you will never think, you will never find a healthy man if you think that all men are unhealthy. Because when that real, man, when that real man is in your face, you're not going to know how to receive it. You're not going to know how to identify it because you think it doesn't exist. Fellas, <laughs> you cannot attract that wholesome woman that got your motherfucking back, that, that's licking your wounds for you, that's cooking and cleaning for you, making making sure she fucking you and feeding you, making sure she got you right mentally, physically, emotionally, making sure you straight to go out there and conquer that world. That's all you need. Making sure you equipped. You will never attract her if you think that all women are gold diggers. That's all you're going to see. Because when, when God brings her, that woman in front of you, you will not be able to recognize her. You won't be able to identify her for who she truly is because you have tunnel vision of all women ain't this or all men ain't that. You have to oh, soften your heart, you guys. God says, soften your heart. 
Soften your heart. Soften your heart, you guys. Love does exist. I love y'all. And I know y'all love me too. We love each other. That's that's love, y'all. Man, here at the Winter Circle, we are... Uh, I'm encouraging y'all to start communicating with each other. Start talking to the ladies. Start talking to the men. You might find your kingdom spouse in the winner's circle because I am cultivating a community of nothing but healthy mindsets and love. Talk to each other. Get to know each other. Chop it up. Get chummy, chummy with each other. Okay, y'all? For real, start cupcaking with each other. Because at the winner's circle, there is nothing but healthy-minded people. You are bound to have a successful relationship. I encourage this, y'all. Listen, I had no idea that I would ever be telling people to date people in the winter circle. I didn't think that. <laughs> I'm like, God, what you doing? He got he got me turning this thing into a dated thing. <laughs> but but I but I can see that. I can understand why because cultivating healthy mindsets breeds love and it breeds um, respect and it breeds authenticity. So y'all love on each other, respect each other. I, if you're a part of the winner's circle, I don't ever want to hear you talking about all women this and all men that and why this. And, no, 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 no. There's not all women nothing. There's not all men nothing. There's look at yourself in the in the mirror and see why are you attracting that type of person. And if you feel like you you kosher, you on your P's and Q's, you doing everything right, you doing the best that you can, open up your heart and start talking to God. And not Not begging for a spouse, demanding it. It's not a beg. It's not a plead. It's a demand. I know what I deserve and I'm not, and I will get what I deserve. I deserve all of my desires. Comment in the comment section, y'all. I deserve all of my desires. God has a kingdom spouse for you. God has a kingdom spouse for everybody. And, and if you really that one, God probably got multiple spouses that want to marry you. Listen, I ain't trying to do my own horn or nothing, but it, <laughs> listen, the line be long. And it's, it has nothing to do with looks or it has everything to do with that, that self-love, that growth, knowing who you are. And because you're taking care of yourself, you treat other people with the same meekness, the same love, the same respect. And you want to see people win. And when you are genuine at heart like that, man, listen, you go attract people, other with authentic, 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 authenticity. You are going to attract other authentic people who are, who are the same. And I'm telling you, you'll come to find out in my experience that, okay, I thought it was, I, you know, we grow up thinking, okay, you have that specific one, that specific husband, that specific wife. You might fuck around and find out like, damn, I didn't know God was, God, this world is abundant. God is abundant. I didn't know it was going to be multiple qualified candidates. God got a kingdom spouse for you. It's about aligning yourself with that right one. Align yourself, you guys, okay? Open up your hearts, soften up, and know that there is love out there. God told me to tell y'all he got a kingdom spouse for all y'all. And they might be in a winter circle. <laughs> I love y'all. See you next time.